I am Anil Kumar. We are solving trigonometric equation and here is another interesting example. We need to solve sin x plus square root 3 cos x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 2 pi. That is to say we have to provide all solutions in radians in the domain 0 to 2 pi. The equation for us is sin x plus square root 3 cos x equals to 0. Normally you will see that we work with one variable but sometimes you can work with two variables as we have sin x and cos x here. Well the trick to solve this is we could take square root 3 cos x to the other side and then divide by cos x. So we could write this as sin x equals to minus square root 3 cos x and now if I divide by cos x both sides I get sin x over cos x equals to minus square root 3 this is really tan x right so tan x equals to minus square root 3 now we have to write down all the solutions for x in the domain x is from 0 to 2 pi right so we have to provide all these solutions now how do we do that for that we consider the coordinate plane and first thing to look into is when is tan negative now as you know you could use one of the rules which you've learned the cost rule which says tan is positive in these two quadrants so it is negative in these two. So we are looking for solutions in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. So we are looking for solutions in, in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4, right? So, so that is what we are looking solutions for. For which tan x is square root 3. So it will be negative when we place it in these two quadrants. Is it okay? Negative. Now to find the acute angle we could always use special triangles also so I'm just sometimes we need to write exact answers so it's a good idea to use special triangles so if I consider this special triangle which is uh, let's say this is pi by 3 this is 90 degrees this is pi by 6 then this special triangle has sides of 1 2 square root 3 and tan which is you know from Sokotoa adjacent over hypotenuse tan is opposite over adjacent right so opposite over adjacent square root 3 is for pi by 3 is it okay so we know that tan pi by 3 is equals to square root 3 so the acute angle in in quadrant 1 will be pi by 3 right so this angle which is pi by 3 will give us square root 3 so that is what we have learned from all this right you could also use the calculator so you have to change the calculator to radians and find tan inverse okay now let's move forward the solutions which we are looking for actually lie in quadrant 2 and 4 so we are looking for these angles correct so our solutions are one and this is the second one there are two solutions within 0 to 2 pi and these two solutions are we can now write x equals to the acute angle is pi by 3 so so this is pi minus pi by 3 and the other one is x equals to pi plus pi by 3 is it okay so these are the two solutions which we are looking for so this one is 2 pi by 3 and this one is 3 plus 1 4 pi by 3 so these are the two solutions when the I'm sorry negative means it should have been in this quadrant I'm sorry uh, this is not the right solution here right so this is the one I'm sorry so this one is 
Uh, the other one, this is pi minus pi by 3 and this one is incorrect. We are looking for fourth quadrant, right? So that is 2 pi minus pi by 3. So we have to take away this pi by 3, right? So it is x equals to 2 pi minus pi by 3. So quadrant 2 and 4, I worked out for 3, that was wrong. It is positive in 3, right? So that gives you 6 minus 1, which is 5 pi by 3. Is it okay? So 5 pi by 3. So these are the two solutions for the angle x in the domain 0 to 2 pi. So we can write down our answer as x is equals to 2 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. Is it okay? So that is how we actually get the answer. So the steps involved are solve the equation. Once you get a trigonometric ratio, then figure out the quadrants. So in our case, the quadrants were 2 and 4. We found related acute angles. So find related acute angle. And then write down the answer and principal angle. Right, which is positive as you go counterclockwise. So always write on the answers in principal angle, all possible answers within the given domain. So that's the whole idea. So I hope the steps are clear. So the answer for this is x equals to 2 pi by 3 or 5 pi by 3. And we have used special triangle to give you the exact answer. I hope that works. Thank you and all the best.